Attention. Do not adjust your television set. Out. Let's go, man. got a new implement we can use. Oh. Oi! What the hell do you think you're doing? Robespierre, you take rather too much pleasure in this. We're professional revolutionaries, not butchers. We've got a job to do. Now look sharp, the captain's coming. Yes, sir. I thought I'd wait so I could share the fun part with you. Excellent, Blonky. Have you dealt with the workers and staff? Every last one of them, sir. Excellent. It's vital that no one escapes to warn anyone of our plans. I want it to be a nice surprise. Yes, sir. Come, Blonky. I see what we find inside. Bonarotti, if I catch you torturing people again, I'm going to end your miserable life myself. That goes for you too, Robespierre. You men, look sharp. Nice job, Lieutenant. Now, accompany me to the reactor.
Hey, what the hell is this? Whose authority do you have to come in here? I'm Mr. Smith. I'm Mr. West. <laughs> Come on, the Krieger. Sir, it's Major Salt. Ready room just received an emergency signal from Albury Nuclear Station. This is Albury Nuclear Station. Yes. Repeat, this is Albury Nuclear Station. Emergency. Over on the unidentified terrorist. Bombers been planted in the station. Repeat, the bomb has been planted in the station. Request immediate assistance. Major, take this up to Colonel Bradbury's at once. This is an emergency. Roger. Engineering department? Captain Peters, go ahead, right Commander. I want two of your best men up to Colonel Bradbury's office immediately. Understood, sir. Sergeant O'Connell and Corporal Atwood, bomb disposal squad. You understand the dangers of bomb? on us, sir. Excellent. Commander, take Major Sol with you. I recommend you use one of the rapid response squads. It's the only thing that will get you there in time, and Major is the best driver we have. Sergeant O'Connor and Corporal Atwood will follow you in a second RRQ with all their equipment. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. I need hardly remind you of the price that we pay if we fail. The country is relying on you. What do you think of their chances, sir? Well, that sounds... I'd rather not think about it. 
On the one hand, we have the possibility that they make it in time, defuse the device, and we will live happily ever after. Or, the bomb might fail to go off. Which would be a happy coincidence. Well, their pigs will fly before that happens. The worst case scenario is that the explosion will shred the uranium fuel cells into tiny pieces, throwing up a cloud of radioactive particles into the atmosphere, which will disperse to sweep across the entire country in a matter of days, ending what little life there was left after the atomic wars. Thank <laughs> you.